Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Randy and we are doing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we proved that Gordy's not real and we found the other witness who is a senile old man but like also knows what happens with DL6 or at least knows about DL6. Yeah, we might be screwed. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, very well. Apparently, the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here, anyway? Uh, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, very well. No opening statement, so... Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. I'm sorry, sir, but we don't have 10 minutes to waste on your meaningful pauses. Okay, save your Hollywood auditions for later. Uh, right, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Must you question everything? We'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. Shouldn't we be questioning, like, things instead of just blindly agreeing to what you say? Von Karma, look, if you want to run a cult, go run a cult. Okay? No one is stopping you. I'll call my witness now. Uh, right. I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. The mysterious boat shop owner. Uh, witness, state your profession. <coughs> Did I give him a voice? Uh, mm. hey, I'm the proprietor of the restaurant at the Wet Noodle at Gordon Lake. Uh, er, I also run boats. The night of the incident, you were at the boat rental shop, correct? Er, yep, yep, I was. Uh, please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this whole guy is. I'm gonna object to it. Just cuz. And I feel like we're gonna get some info out of it. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him. I predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions. I feel like the fact that his name has not been brought up is like a plant karma. Again, karma, just go run your own cult. No one is stopping you. You're right. The witness will state his name. Uh, mm. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. Yep. What do you mean? My, uh, my memory? Your Honor. The witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Does he not have it written down? D do y'all not have any sort of documentation as to what the fuck this dude's name is? Hmm. Can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well, let's hear his testimony then, shall we, witness? I love how that's, like, explained away. <laughs> and the fact that this man is brought up to testify for, like, our wannabe cult leader, Von Karma. Uh, night of the 24th. Just one shot. Saw a boat floating on the lake. Another bang. Boat come back to the shore and a man walks by my window. God, the like winger waggling? The finger waggling, not the wing. The finger <laughs> The finger waggling. It it I just wanna break that I I I just wanna go and just snap the finger back. There's nothing to question my test. Yes we do! 
besides there's only 10 minutes left before our three minutes are up. You also have not... Here's the thing. We have no proof that it's Edgeworth. There is no motive for it. Nothing has been concrete in it. Also, Edgeworth has not been up on this stand. Uh, Mr. Wright? Yes. What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Hmm. Very well, you may begin. <laughs> and Von Karma just has the demon that's like starting to get exercised out of it. Uh, Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. I see. Well then, just, let's just take our time. I'm gonna cross-examine the witness. Here's the thing. This is the one thing that has bothered me. And I'm just gonna bring this up. Where's the gun? It is fired three times. Everyone only keeps saying that there are two shots. People only hear two shots. There are three. It was fired thrice. Okay. So night of the 24th. Okay. I, what do I want to press? The thing I want to... This is the thing I kind of want to press the most to kind of just be like, see, he's unreliable. But I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. Let's try it. Is there anyone else who can verify that? Well, I guess Bali could. That's not good enough for a court of law. I, I'm sorry, a bird- a bird cannot be a- Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? This Polly is a parrot. A parrot? Why so hard on that- on the girl, Keithy boy? Keith? Prosecution concedes we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. And I heard a bang. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. I kind of want to press this because is there someone in the boat? Thank you. It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly, but I figured there was two men out there. Yep. I think. <laughs> but you couldn't see them clearly. Yep. At the time, that is. At the time. And I heard another bang. Let's press that. Now your window. Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. Could you see the man's face? No, well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. It's all up. It's a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. I have a bad feeling about this. The man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. I don't- I'm just gonna press this. We'll see what happens. You sure? <laughs> dead! <laughs> dead certain, Keith. He said, I can't believe he's dead. And he was walking by, too. Witness, are you sure that person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him. That Edgeworth boy. Oh, now we've... Now we've... This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. Von Karma, he lured me into cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. You keep you keep your finger to yourself, cult leader. Wanna Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I better act quick or this trial is going to be over. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's trial that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? And the photograph showing the man fired with his left hand? Exactly. God fucking damn it, Con I God. I can't wait till this man just like- I can't wait till we have Miles on the other side again. So I don't have to deal with this stupid finger waggling. And this man just goes to run off- run like some wannabe cult 
Uh, that is easily explainable. He could have wiped his fingerprints after he fired. He would be wearing gl Are we ignoring the fact that Edgeworth would be this d like, would plan all this out, but then, like, luring the man onto the fucking boat, and then just being like, I wiped the prints off, but I didn't think about the other hand. One, that sounds stupid, and two, like, this man knows the, like, he understands the court of law. You're ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. The judge is lost in thought. What should I do? I'm gonna keep raising objections until we get contempt of court. Your Honor, this witness claims that Edro said I can't believe he's dead. His word is all we have. If he were telling a lie. Mr. Wright, in, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. It's witness testimony from someone who can't remember his own name. Also, y'all don't have his name on file. Y'all have not brought up what his name is. So for all we know, this is a fucking plant. Apparently you haven't realized even this basic fact. Even if you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest... I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Nick needs you. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. I went into Phoenix for a minute. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new... Ro this is day three? I think it's day three. Or two. Enough. The witness may leave the sand. The witness is asleep on the floor. Uh, this court sees no reason to further prolong this trial, nor is there any need for time to decide the case against the defendant. The case is extreme. Oh, did I fuck this up? Uh, what? No. Hmm. This court finds the defendant. Did I fuck it up? The accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending a trial at the higher court within a month from today's date. That's all. Did I fuck up? <laughs> I don't know who's yelling. Uh, who was that just now? Me! Huh? Uh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Listen, you gotta listen to me. I, I was, I was there in the park the night of the murder. I, I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday. But today I remembered it! Now Larry's gonna be held in contempt of court! God, we're getting everyone held in contempt of court this time! Remember what? The gunshot! I heard it too! But order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided! I call for adjournment! One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So, so you say you heard a gunshot? I love this judge very much because he's just like, I'm here to get to the truth. I don't care about the rest of y'all's bullshit. And I love the idea that like Von Karma has pissed him off enough and he's just like, you know what? I'm getting tired of your shit, Von Karma. Fuck off. Uh, so you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did a gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something, something he said was different from what I remember. A anyhow, I just can't sit here and let you call Edgy a murder. It it's just not right. I'll testify. Let me testify. <laughs> Wouldn't it doesn't the defense get um God, I don't know enough about Japan law. And I don't know how much localization they did with this game. But like, at least in American court of law, like the defense is able to bring in witnesses. How have we not been able to bring in witnesses? Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. You could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, 
There's another witness. It is our duty to hear him speak. Right here. Right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. We also listened to a man who could not remember his own name. And y'all provided no information for him. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. <laughs> Mr. Moncarma, I order you to call this new witness. Again, why can't we bring in witnesses? Maybe this is just a Japan thing. I don't know. Maybe it was just to make the game easier. I don't. Or like more simplistic. Now, what? The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Court is adjourned. Phew. That was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night? Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Honestly, Larry is the closest. Like, everyone else was at the edge of the lake, and in theory, Larry was, like, in the lake. Oh, right. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night? Yeah. Hey, Edgeworth. Huh? You say something right? Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? It... it's nothing. Hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Where are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the boat and floor on the floor of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. Also did I didn't have a reason really. I see. Right. Yeah. This might be our chance. Our chance? Applebee's part two. <laughs> Von Commerce only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials. Perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. Are, are, are we... Are we ignoring the fact that he brought a witness who doesn't know his name? He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Mick! No ten minute trial this time, we'll milk this one for all it's worth. Hey, it was fifteen minutes. Fifteen! Everyone thinks I'm Larry now. Let's get back into the car. <laughs> court is now back in session. Witness, please testify to the court about everything that she saw on the night of December 24th. Right, leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I'd hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. Von Karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. Okay, out on the boat on the lake, looking for something. So quietly slip, slip the boat back in the rental boat, shop boat. And I was thinking about going home, I heard a bang. Looked out over, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Hmm. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. 
Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. Um... We'll press that. Looking for something? It, yeah. Mr. Butts, what is it? What is it you were looking for? What the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this Gordy. That's surprisingly close to the truth in a sense. This is all irrelevant. Let's get it over with. Thank you.